hey there everybody, this is Piper here and welcome to another Rome Tour battle. So this is actually going to be a, a battle replay. It's a siege battle that I actually fought a few nights ago in Game Ranger. And you don't often get siege battles nowadays. Um, it's mainly just uh, sort of grassy flatlands we play nowadays. But anyway, this is a this is actually a, a siege battle and I didn't know my player. My player is called Tofu Shima. It's a bit of a play in words. Uh, we're against two clan players, Italic Isex is the first clan player and the other clan player is called Italic Shadji or Shady or however you want to pronounce that. So obviously they know, they know each other, I didn't know, no, I didn't know my uh, ally but we've all gone Rome factions and I'll go through my army first. I've taken three units of urbans and they're silver silver, three and another three units of urbans and they're gold gold, three archercilia, I think they're either silver attack or bronze attack, possibly gold attack, you're not peasants. Uh, my opponent's chosen Trarai, they're unupgrade, oh they have, looks like two upgrades, uh, two archercilia, they have one upgrade and three gold gold uh, urban cohorts, another triari and three units of cavalry. Two of them are Praetorian cavalry, one is Ar Roman armor general. Uh, my allies taken um, one unit of urban cohort, four upgrades, another one that has five upgrades, unupgraded Praetorian cohort, two archercilia and looks like two cavalry. And SPQR player, he's actually got a fairly good army. It looks like three gold gold urban cohorts and three Roman triari. They they are gold gold as well. Looks like and two cavalry, gold gold, one Roman cavalry, two upgrades. So if you check out my army. We'll go through what happened to me first. Uh, because it's really what happens to me in this battle that actually decides this battle. Um, my ally bottles it and his army gets annihilated. It's basically because he doesn't have enough uh, urbans to fight the enemy urbans and he doesn't use his cavalry too well. So basically I've got a unit of peasants at the front here. Uh, both players make the mistake of only bringing one battering ram. I think it was no rules and it was 10k or yeah, it was 10k, I think. Maybe it's a bit more, but it wasn't. I don't think it was 15k. But both players only bring one battering ram, which means that it makes it easy for me to defend this area. So I've got my archers are firing against his archers, and we've actually won the archer war. Uh, we've got the unit of peasants here. Uh, the plan is keep the peasants here. When the enemy comes in, uh, the first three units of urbans will go into fire at will and they'll throw their pila at the first units. And what tends to happen is this pila is just so devastating that it will rout the units. And then I've got uh, three units of gold gold uh, urbans at the back and they'll throw the pila and rout the, the second line there. I'm trying to get some shots in against the cavalry as well. Um, obviously we're getting hit points against the Roman armoured general. So we'll look at here fast, uh, we've got peasants here. These peasants are just here to soak up enemy pila. Again, if you're playing at attacking, you want to bring as many siege equipment items as you can. Uh, they're free. Bring as many as you can. So right here, uh, I've got the urban set to fire at will now. And they'll just be getting so many kills against the triari. And just the shock of that initial volley, of the initial two volleys, has actually routed the Triari. So he's lost you in a Triari there. And what tends to happen is players tend, tend to panic when that happens and they'll just rush everything in. Uh, we've got our second line here waiting. And we don't want to have these guys set to fire at will because when they throw Pila high up, it's less effective. They want them to be around about here and they'll get maximum damage with the Pila. 
So right here, he's actually panicking. He's charging everything in. And it's just going to be a, a killing zone right now. Getting some side-on hits with the peeler there as well. Bypassing the shield. Um, he's charging in everything. And he's trying to line up to get his peeler shots in. But we're not going to let him. We're going to charge in. So we've got two charging in at the front there. We're getting uh, the charge bonus. And we've got a unit of urbans around the back. And they'll have a morale effect on the, the enemy. So they're going to mass route. And... He's got a unit of urbans that came back from routing. It's going to be a mass route. So we've got three of our uh, gold gold urbans left, our archers, and the bulk of our silver silver urbans. So that's basically the enemy wiped out on my side. Um, a trick is if you're playing siege battles, uh, try not to bring cavalry. Uh, one, ca the main strength of cavalry is the, the their, their ability to maneuver. Uh, they're fast, but when you have siege battles. Um, the maneuverability feature becomes less important. They still have a powerful charge, but one versus one urbans are better or uh, infantry is better. So if you're playing as Rome, Rome is the best faction for sieges. You want to really bring urbans and not cavalry. So check out my side. Uh, you can see here, um, SPQR player had gold gold urbans. I think he had three of them and pretty good triara as well. The my ally player had, I think it was one gold gold urban, one that was five upgrades and one Praetorian cohort. So he didn't really have enough uh, infantry to hold back the enemy player. And he's not really using his cavalry too well either. He brought cavalry, uh, two upgrades on the cavalry, so it's fairly weak. He should have brought more urbans. So we're going to fast forward this. He actually uh, bottles it and... SPQR has a mass route on uh, Tofushima. Um, I told him to withdraw everything to the center. I'm going to pull around my army as fast as I can. Uh, I don't think he'll come back here now. He wants to team up with his ally. So we've got a bit of time to salvage this. Um, on the fact that basically I have basically all my urbans left, almost fully intact. Uh, we should still win this, but they still do have a chance. They have a lot of cavalry left. And they have a fair amount of triari and urbans. So I've told him to withdraw everything. He still does has a unit of cavalry and a unit of Praetorian cavalry there. I think they're two upgrades. I'm going to rush everything back to the centre. And I've told him to pull things, pull everything he has back. He's still fighting the, the cavalry though. Which is probably a bad idea. He needs to regroup with me. And I still have all my I have my archers as well. So everything's in the center here. And this is going to be quite powerful for him to break. Uh, I've got my my three units of gold gold urbans at the back here. Um, basically it's to shield them from any pila that he has left. Um, I have all the, the arch units as well. They're not fully intact. But they'll be useful in melee as well. They're a bit tired though. Uh, when units are tired, they have less attack ability. Um, so we can see here, he's going to charge in his urban cohort there. And I think we actually have these guys in guard, guard mode as well. In this situation, guard mode is pretty powerful. Because we don't need to maneuver. Uh, we need to make a defensive wall. So I know I definitely have the, the gold gold units in guard mode. And Julii still has the unit you know, of Tirari, uh, but they're going to be exhausted by the time they get up here. And he has unit you know, of Auxilia Archer and unit you know, of Archers as well. But they're going to be exhausted. There's some cavalry coming around the other side, and that's quite a good strategy to do like a, a pronged attack. But as seen at the start of this battle, um, cavalry is less effective in siege battles. Because one versus one, like here, urbans are just so much better than cavalry. Even though these guys are only two upgrades, which means they're crap cavalry. Even if they were gold gold, they would still lose against my urbans. Just the fact that they can't charge properly, uh, they can't maneuver, they can't do, they can't attack from the sides. I I can basically dictate where they attack 
which means that I can use guard mode with the urbans and really make use of the the urban cohorts. So he probably has a slight advantage here. He's got a lot of powerful cohorts left, the cavalry, but I have all the archers in the centre and the urbans are silver silver. So they're fairly powerful alone. And the urbans on the right flank have actually beaten the cavalry. So they're going to come in here and we've got the, the archers. Something that I did learn, they have a bit of bother firing over the statue. Not many arrows are firing over there. But they're going to fire flaming arrows and decrease the morale of the, the cavalry. So basically the battle is won here. Um, SPQR having fought that battle at the start. Fighting the battle here. A lot of his uh, units are very tired and exhausted. Mine are only winded. Some of them are very tired. But the bulk of them have more energy. And the three gold gold urbans are really doing a lot of damage. So now the SPQR army is actually routing. We're going to chase these guys right at the city. I actually said to my um, opponent at this point, I said, uh, make this city safe. It was basically like a Lord of the Rings joke um, at the Battle of, I think it was the Battle of uh, Pelennor Fields, when uh, the the sort of the ghost army attacks, and basically uh, the army of Sor Saruman and Sauron get annihilated. Uh, but anyway, that, that's the that's the key in uh, siege battles. Once the the mass route starts, uh, you really want to keep on attacking and keep driving the the enemy out of the city. So unfortunately, the the player actually quit there. I don't think it was a rage quit. I think it was just um, the two players there just quit. It wasn't like the rage quit that Soul did when it was one versus one, because I know Soul uh, knows not to do that. Uh, these two players are probably fairly new players and uh, obviously the battle was over right there as well because there's no way uh, he would come back from that. But anyway, uh, that was a good battle. Uh, you don't often get siege battles anymore. I've played a lot of siege battles in the past uh, on GameSpy and I do have a lot of experience. So it's always good to play uh, different battles and it's good to relive the, the siege battle again. But thanks for watching, um, hopefully if you guys want to see another siege battle, let me know, or if you guys want to play a fun battle, uh, feel free to send me a message and it can easily be arranged. So thanks for watching, um, definitely uh, like, comment and subscribe uh, to my channel, it really helps the channel out a lot, uh, helps the channel expand, and if you have any questions or if you want to see any certain videos, please let me know. So thanks for watching again, this is Piper signing off.